welcome back with another room review and finally we have another update for casa OS 2.1 and all the fixes is here and let me show you from the settings and this is another great choice for those people who have 2gb variant so i can blindly recommend you guys to use this one if you are using 2gb RAM variant uh, on redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well so here is the user interface and this is really really mind-blowing and i really appreciate that work and really thanks to the builder and this is next level smooth custom rom for redmi 7 right now so you guys can try this out and here you can see the change log recent changes and you guys can try this if you have ideas or if you have patience then of course try that and here we have of course android 10 as cassaval is and retain and here we have the version 2.1 and maintainer and thanks to him for building this one and now we have the latest android security update which is february 5 from this month and kernel use which is jfla caramel kernel which is smooth really really smooth and what kind of uh, gaming kernel you guys can say and you guys of course do gaming in that room as it is android 10 though it is android 10 we have latest features like android 12 11 and 13 as well then we have the system as usual and uh, that rom always comes with vanilla build that means we don't have g apps included so you guys need to flash g apps separately and i will drop the link in description just flash that g apps then we have the google accessibility and other things and on security section we have everything just like fingerprint face unlock which is super fast and we have app locker and i already checked everything which is really really great and everything working perfectly here then we have the sound section as usual the regular customizations are available and dial pad tones and touch sounds touch vibration and vibrate to indicate call status and that's a great feature if you want to use and here we have the battery section apps are running normally and you guys can check this and then we have here the battery capacity and other things which is battery temperature and smart charging you guys can enable set maximum charging level if you want to uh, charge your device uh, just a bit faster then of course smart charging will uh, boost your charging speed as well and then we have the connected devices and uh, apps and notifications as usual and let me show you that part as usual we have the regular applications and default applications and permission manager emergency alerts special app access but we don't have here parallel space that means we can't make dual apps you guys can use any third party no problem then we have the keep cursor that means the cursor was uh, uh, customization or whatever you guys can say and traffic indicator which is perfectly working I already checked and we have the ticker option you guys all can uh, enable that feature which is really good a status bar lyric if you need a status bar lyric system then while playing music then of course you have to enable that feature and your app of course must be supported and we guys can change status bar left padding right padding and system icons can be changed and here we have the signal icons and volte icons use all this time mobile data and go wi-fi override and data disable indicator that means here we guys, you guys can see here the data disable indicator is visible and if i turn that off it will be removed and 4g icon and show activity indicators as well then we have the bad, uh, Bluetooth battery status, uh, clock style and clock, uh, clock and date as usual. That customization, AMPM, uh, that's normal uh, customization actually here. And then we have the quick settings, brightness slider expanded. Uh, you guys can select that always. And uh, we have auto brightness and QS uh, drag handle, QS footer text. If you need the QS footer text uh, at the bottom, of course you guys can enable that footer text. And then we have user switcher icon and running services icon as usual and privacy indicators and adjust rounded corners content padding and then we have the replace clear all text with oxygen always clear button if you need the oxygen always clear button here to clear that one that means 
replacing that clear all then of course you guys can replace clear all text with OOS clear button let me show you if you enable this one what we'll get where it will be activated after reboot so here we have the screen view and blur behind quick settings and background opacity you guys can change it here is the opposite level right now I already change if I increase it it will be like this and if I remove make it zero it will be like this you will get a blurry effect and which is really really cool and title visibility and vibrate on touch and QS tint and rose portrait landscape you guys can customize those things and we have here the styles flip rotate and whatever and when you enable anything it will flip or rotate the customizations are like this so then we have the buttons as usual system navigation can be changed from here and customizations are available and we have the amount of height uh, bottom area and th these are the things actually and then we have the power menu and uh, wake device answer call regular customizations gestures three finger screenshots and of course jump to camera gesture and lock screen status bar double tap to sleep fingerprint authentications and these are the things not so much but all are necessary customizations available here kill app pattern and enable heads up and notification system everything is just really really cool and if you want to disable animation uh, while transition animation you guys can see you guys can remove that thing and we have the miscellaneous here and suspend actions uh, like actions will be executed on screen off on screen on the previous state will be restored so that means when your screen will be turned off you can use that suspend action and we have the ad block system which is good and allow application downgrade which is also good and gaming mode enhance your gaming experience this is really cool and screenshot sound you guys can customize and ignore windows secure flag this removes the screenshots and screen records limits for all application that means if you use that feature you guys will be able to take a, a screenshot from uh, that application doesn't permit us so that's really cool and allow signature spoofing which is another thing and bypass security system by pretending to be a different application so this is also cool but we don't need i don't recommend to use those things and just use unlimited google photos storage and unlock higher fps in games and unlock higher quality streams that means netflix amazon prime uh, those are the social application you guys will get the sd plus uh, sd plus yes um, full HD uh, streaming experience these are the things actually and got to show and you guys can customize on the home settings and which is home screen customizations at a glance and multi level icons and top gradients huge customizations is here and hidden application feature as usual you guys will get everything here then you guys can change the grid uh, dock icons columns and rows everything is here then you guys can also change the icon pack as usual there is all default and no options to change the custom icon packs and these are the shared launcher which is really really part of a smooth experience you guys can see app opening and closing everything is just awesome opening closing speed is just really really cool and of course if you have a doubt let me clear that thing and here is the gcam is perfectly working without any issue you guys can use i already tested so you guys can use no problem with that and then let me show you and of course you guys can see the face unlock is super fast and here we have the cpu throttle to 89 percent if i check it right now i will get better performance because i'm using it for some days and this is really really cool thing and we have by default fm radio and here we have the calculator and we have we'll get that gallery applications and no other extra applications and let me show you that thing uh, if you are using I don't have uh, right now the connection and while playing music you guys of course can access the notification center that means the control panel whatever you say 
you guys will be able to use that one and these are the things i don't want to waste your time say so if you ask me in one um, question just you can use can you use this one of course you guys can blindly use this custom rom and i recommend you guys to use this custom rom if you have 2gb ram variant then definitely and if you have 3gb ram variant then of course you guys can use that one more fluently so this is really really and less and lighter weight uh, custom rom so that's why it will do really really better performance in your in our redmi 7 so thank you for watching